On the Health Watch today, thousands of women today reacting to new evidence that could change their treatment for breast cancer. This after a landmark study out of Chicago found most women in the early stages of the disease can safely skip chemotherapy. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemignon now with more on the immediate impact. Therese Durth thought chemotherapy would be her only option after her March early stage breast cancer diagnosis until she received a call from her doctor. She told me that in this study that they just completed, I am not even going to have to have chemo. The 10 year study involving more than 10,000 women used a 21 gene test on the tumor. Patients receive a score between 1 and 100. Since 2015, those with a score of 1 to 10 have been told they need no chemo. The new finding is those with a score of 11 to 25 can now avoid chemo too. A score of 25 to 100 means chemo is strongly recommended. Teresa's score is 16. It was just amazing. No other word for it. Amazing. A miracle that I was able to fall into this category and have such amazing news. The findings of the study that would change Teresa's mind about getting chemotherapy was revealed right here at the American Society of Clinical Oncology annual meeting at McCormick Place. Dr. Kathy Albain from Loyola Medicine is not only Teresa's oncologist, but a main co-author of the study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Dr. Albain says it's important to note the study involved women with the most common type of breast cancer. Our days of uncertainty are over for maybe up to 70,000 women in the country right now. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. Dr. Albain says the women not undergoing chemotherapy must use endocrine therapy. Those are drugs that reduce the risk of the cancer returning. Still ahead for us, the state that wants to pay.